Hi everyone, Giuliano here. Let's see in this video how we can highlight news in SharePoint. You know that you can configure organization news on specific SharePoint sites. This means that when you create a news in this site, this will appear highlighted in the home site, for example. Okay, let's jump on my PC and I show you every step. Here we go on my PC and I have the communication home site in the browser open. I want to highlight this section, all news. I am collecting several news from several sites here. I will edit now this page so you can see exactly from which sites I am collecting news. Then click on this web part and then on the icon edit web part. So I have selected this option button select sites. And below, I exactly specified from which sites I want to collect news. In this case, Contoso, Global IT, and Welcome to All Guests. Focusing again in the news web part, you may notice that some news has this label on top. And this is because they are organization news. I, I wanted to highlight specific news because they are relevant for the entire organization. And that's the reason why I decided to mark organization news for specific sites. For example, here we have a normal news, which is not really important or relevant for the entire organization, for all departments, let's say. But I marked other sites as organization news. So now let's see every step how you can define and mark Azure Point site as organization news. I am now in the official Microsoft documentation. In this page is described how you can create an organization news site. You have to use a news web part on a SharePoint page in order to have this kind of result. Okay, let's go ahead. Here is described every step that you have to perform with PowerShell in order to designate a site as an organization site. All you need to do, first of all, is download and install the latest SharePoint Online Management Shell. Then you have to run a PowerShell command as global admin or SharePoint admin. Here we have the PowerShell command that you have to run, set SPO org new site. And then we have a parameter and here you have to specify the URL of your SharePoint site. Then you have another possibility, you can get current organization news site in your Office 365 tenant and of course you can remove an organization news site. Okay, it's time to mark an organization news site. I will open now PowerShell, then I will type in the search box EASY and I will run Windows PowerShell EASY as administrator. Here on file, I will search for an existing PowerShell script that I already saved, organizationnews.ps1. And here we go. So I need, first of all, to connect to the SharePoint Admin Center. And that's the reason why you have to be at least a SharePoint Admin. So I will run now this command And okay, I am logged now. I already executed previously this command. So this SharePoint site, it's already an organization news site. And so just to show you that I already executed the, this command, I will run now get SPO org news site. And in fact, as you can see, we have the home site that by default will have always this news highlighted. And then I assigned the organization news site for this site collection. That's it. Now, every news created on this SharePoint site and collected in a news web part will appear highlighted. Okay, that was a very quick tutorial how you can highlight news in SharePoint. If you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and ring the bell if you want to see more videos like this one. Okay, I hope again that you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Bye.